Today we're talking about home staging. Is it worth it? This is Jason from Remax Real Estate Center. Standing here talking to you. If you like this video, I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you like, what you don't like, whatever you gotta say. I'm always here to listen. Now, we're talking about staging this week. What is staging? Staging is professionally laying your house out in such a way that it accentuates the positives of your home so that it appeals to buyers who come through. That's the objective. Putting the term staging on it is one thing. That's, that's, that's how we talk about it, I get that. But maybe you have Jim and Janet. They have exceptional taste. They're very bougie. They keep their house clean. They take care of it. So they're gonna care about interior design. They're gonna understand where the trends are at right now. They're gonna have made the effort to consistently keep their home up to date. Jim and Janet, do they need staging? Maybe not. The way that I think about staging is kind of like if selling your home is putting on your shoes, staging is tying up your shoelaces. It's that final thing you're gonna do to get you ready to hit the open road and go and present yourself to the world. Jim and Janet, they wear slip-ons. Now, home staging 20, 30 years ago, it wasn't nearly as big, right? You get rid of the litter box, you throw the trash out, you maybe make your bed that day, you can throw a sign in the front lawn and try to sell it. There weren't as many properties to compete against. The buying strategies and plans were very different. The values of buyers have changed a lot. And now we live in a world where there's a lot of competition. Even in a time like the winter here, we don't see as many listings come up generally, but there's still a lot of competition if your house is gonna hit the market. When you're selling your home, first impressions are everything. Whether that first impression is an open house, a private showing, realtor.ca, a Facebook promotion. Regardless of where your home is being seen first, the first impression needs to be incredible. And staging helps most people do that. So Jim and Janet, they're out of the way. Remember that real estate is about supply and demand and the demand for a home in real estate comes from buyers being able to see themselves in that property, whether it's from an investor perspective or an owner occupant perspective. So if your home is sitting vacant, it's gonna be much more difficult for buyers to see how their lifestyle is gonna fit into that home. Or maybe they're not gonna have a hard time figuring out how they're gonna use this room or if this is gonna be enough space for all of their stuff. Staging is gonna help a buyer jog their imagination about how your home is gonna become the right fit for them. Now, those two are gone, Jim and Janet, they're gone. Vacant property, gone. Now, 85% of the properties that are on the market are sitting here, they're not vacant, and your taste may not be as good as Jim and Janet's, so what do you do if you're in the middle? Keep in mind that stagers as well as realtors, have, we have opinions, we're in the market every single day looking at what the trends are, what buyers want, and what needs to be accentuated in your property. The market's about getting as many people through your home as possible, and, and uh, as difficult as it can be to hear, that that's the game we're in right now, is that you need to show better than the house down the street. And staging gives you a huge advantage when it comes to that. Home staging's not about your taste not being good, or it's not about hiding issues that may be going on in your property. Staging is about making your home the one on the street that gets the most eyes on it. And it making your home the place where people can see their own lifestyles coming into play and seeing their own characteristics. It's about prompting their imagination to really fall in love with the unique features that your home has. Bringing a stager through your home, in my opinion, at least for an initial consultation, is always going to be worth it whether or not you want to bring in furniture or remove furniture, it's gotta fit with your lifestyle as well. But know that the return on not only the cost, but the amount of time it's on the market as well, it, it makes a difference. And that showability goes a very, very long way in a world where photos, videos, and frequent showings are gonna be driving the market. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again today. Really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos from me, click up here. If you wanna subscribe, click right here. I'll see you next time. Oh,